There, everybody, is a hyena at Sydney's dam. And we can't get any closer. That's why the picture's just... Well, I mean, look, it's not the best hyena view we've ever had. But it's drinking here, and interestingly, it must be one of our hyenas, one of our Juma clan of hyenas that don't live at Juma anymore. And at this distance, almost impossible to get an identification on it. But... We are seeing them more and more, and I wonder if this isn't the beginnings of their long migration south back into Juma, where hopefully they will set up shop. And I know that many of you are missing our hyenas as much as we are. And for some of you, for our newer viewers, you won't even know what we're talking about. But we seem to spend hours and hours of enormously entertaining time at the hyena dens, the various ones dotted about Juma, watching the little cubs. Yes, M. Rouse, I have to agree with you, it does look like a very skinny hyena. Um, I'm not sure why it should be skinny, perhaps it hasn't been very good at scavenging lately. But we reckon that these hyenas are possibly spending more time hunting than normal. They like to eat baby impala and sometimes they can catch the herd sort of unawares and chase the little ones and sometimes they will catch them and actually eat them. They're not normally fast enough and if you look over to the right hand side there you can see a herd of impala. I think it's largely a bachelor herd coming down to drink. I mean they will they'll know that hyena's there. He's not making any attempt to hide. But those impala, as adult males and young males, not vaguely afraid of one hyena. But of a group of them coursing after some youngsters, well then it's possible that they'd catch them. But I have to agree, that one looks a little worse for wear. I'd like to try and see him move. It almost looks like his leg is... Hanging loose, is that possible? No, he's got all four legs there. But he is very, very, very ginger. And I don't mean that in the way that Kirsten McLennan Smith is ginger. I mean he's he's walking very gingerly. Yeah. Deborah, Gregory, you're absolutely right. There's definitely something a little bit amiss there. Possibly other hyenas who've beaten him up. Quite possibly the Inkahuma pride up here. I think rather the other way around, Lavencia. You say, will the, Inca, will the return of the hyenas, if they return here, affect the behavior of the Inkahuma pride? No, I don't think so, but I think it was the Inkahuma pride's behavior that drove these, these hyenas out of Juma. They are not a big clan. I mean, the clan that lives on Elephant Plains and Simbambili and Arethusa is much larger than the clan here. It's about 50 strong. This one, I think, probably at its maximum was about 18 or 20 adults strong. And what happened was they set up a den not far from where I'm sitting now, but in a direct, in fact, in a direct line between here and the final control on Aubrey's Road. But it was on a game path, and the lions kept walking past there. And as they kept walking past, so eventually the hyenas decided that perhaps the lion activity was a bit too extensive in the area, and so they moved off. And they've gone up north into the Manuleti, which is pretty much on the same line between us, the hyena. If you just kept going on that line and turned slightly to the left, you'd find their den somewhere up there. And there seems to be less lion activity there. And you'll find, Lavencia, that m most predators out here, bar perhaps the leopard, most of their territory sizes and where they live in their territories are defined by where the lions are. Cheetah, you can almost predict entirely their movements from the movement of lions and where the lions are calling. Hyenas, well, I've just explained that to you. Leopards, to a certain extent, will spend time in the areas of their territory where they think the lions are not. 
and what's the, the other major uh, predator of course are wild dogs and one of the hugest killers of young wild dog pups are lions so they, everything else out here avoids the lions they are by far and away the dominant predator out here unless of course they come to a kill and there is a very very big clan of hyenas